Now we understood the circular flow of income. So let's now understand the different flows in the economy. The first one we are going to do is a two sector economy. So as the name suggests, there would be only two sectors, which is your household and your business firms. So what the household would do, they would spend their factor services. So they will provide the factor services to the business firm who in turn will give them the income. Okay. So in this scenario, remember whatever the business firms are going to produce, okay that would be consumed completely by the household sector so that's the assumption out here that the total production of goods and services by the producer sector would be equal to the total consumption of goods and services by the household sector okay so we have the product market and the factor market what is product market where goods and services are sold and bought okay when i'm talking about factor market it is about factor services now, remember whatever is the payment made by the business firms, that is the factor payment for pro to the household for providing the factor services, that would be the factor income of household sector. There would be no other income, that would be the only income. Okay, And whatever they are earning, that is the household sector is going to earn, they are going to spend, that is they are going to expend. So, the consumption expenditure would be exactly equal to the income of household sector okay now here remember the real flow of production and consumption of firms and household would be equal to the money flow of income and expenditure of firms and household to understand this see this diagram out here so we have the households this side and the business firms okay so what is happening here they are providing the factor services so land labor capital everything the factor services are being provided in turn they are receiving wages interest profits okay so because of that they are receiving the factor payments now as they are receiving the factor payments that's the household income so they will start going in for expenditure so there would be flow of goods and services and because of that again the circular flow will continue they will continue that is the business firm will continue producing goods now the next is your three sector economy wherein there would be government also so the government sector is also there now the government will obviously charge direct and indirect taxes and government will also charge to the households so that would be additional flow of income to the government so what would happen here the household will not spend everything what they have earned from by way of factor services which they have provided some part would go to the government the same would apply to firms they would not spend everything on producing the goods some part would go to the government now in terms of household everything would not be earned as way of factor income something or some income would come from wages, salaries and transfer payments. Okay, so there would be also capital market in place because there would be savings which would be done by the household. So from capital markets, the firm would also re be receiving the money to produce goods. Okay, now remember apart from that, there would be government purchases or subsidies which would be provided to firm and as usual the goods and services would be provided to the household okay so this is how the three sector economy would look like now if i have to see the four sector economy this is known as a complete open economy as such so here we got additional things which is imports and exports so how do this look a bit complicated but if you look at the diagram carefully you will understand now apart from government we got foreign sector also so there would be foreign remittances because what would happen the household would export manpower okay they would provide the services even to foreign sector so the foreign sector would go for foreign remittances they would give the cash out here right now in terms of firms they would be doing the exports so they would be received of money from exports whatever they are receiving they would receive it from by way of exports then in case if the firms are importing they will see the flow of income or cash going by way of payment from imports so this is how an open economy exactly looks like 
okay so these were the circular flow of income when we have different economies in place